As Bahrain schools begin, there are severe traffic jams in many places. For the last two weeks, everyone here had been talking about traffic jams, not only on highways, but even on the remotest roads in the kingdom, there were tailbacks that were attributed to the school reopening. We can't square the blame on schools alone. But there are many other issues, including the rapid increase in the number of private vehicles, which are gradually becoming a burden on the existing infrastructure. Enhancing the public transport system seems to be the only remedy since traffic jams are nothing but a waste of time and money. Bahrain transport very good. On seven years, Bahrain transport is going. We have offer. You can get this card with 500 fels, then you can recharge it. We have monthly, we have weekly, we have daily. So there is a lot of people they are using our buses to go for school or for university or work. So they have to use the bus daily. So this card, it's easy for them. Okay, and uh, there is monthly package, which is, is 12 BD, cheap price. So they can travel whenever they want. Anytime. The public buses in Bahrain are synonymous with the public transport system. But how many of us are using it? They maintain sharp timings and offer many other advantages. But still, some customers aren't really happy. Uh, most complaints from passengers it's about the AC because our buses it's Europe bus and you, uh, as, as you can see here in Bahrain the degrees is 50 percent uh, it's different than Europe but we manage this. Each bus there is CCTV and there is uh, mobile they are monitoring the buses and they are uh, adjust the buses if he's late or something or there is problem in the road so they know everything. With the kingdom planning its metro network along with more buses possibly hitting the roads we could expect more responsible citizens and expats switching over to the public transport system thereby easing the roads of heavy burdens